Hi there investors, Dan from New to Property here. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another video in the New to Property range. In this episode, I'm going to be giving you a rundown of the 2020 budget. It came out today, we're on the 11th of March 2020, and I'm going to be giving you everything that you need to know about investing in property and the budget. If you haven't done so already, make sure you head over to our website, which is www.new2property.co.uk, where you can find out a little bit more about myself, the team that I work with, and what it is that we do at New to Property. You can also find us on Facebook as well, under New to Property. Make sure you give us a like for handy hints and tips to be dropped onto your newsfeed on a regular basis. So the budget was opened with Boris Johnson telling us about an infrastructure revolution. But how is this all going to affect us as property investors? So there's been some reforms in the business rates. Now, this is because obviously of the coronavirus. And in turn, this should have a knock-on effect to property investors and the property market. And although there's no real sort of concrete long-term fixes being put into place, there has been some temporary solutions that will really help us right now. What was said was that there'll be a 100% business rate relief on all properties rateable at 51,000 or less. And these investors, these properties, will get a 100% rates relief for one year. Meaning that any property developers who are looking to buy a commercial property and potentially convert that, whilst the building is empty, you won't actually pay the usual rates that normally would apply. Smaller businesses are also being looked after and any small business that is eligible for small business rate relief is going to be eligible and get a grant of £3,000, a one-off, to help them get through this coronavirus problem that we've got going on at the moment. It was also announced that there'll be a special business rate scheme for pubs, so any developers looking to take on that type of property to develop it into potentially residential property are also going to get some relief on their tax as well. For any employers out there, your insurance contributions, the limit has actually risen up to £4,000 now to help out those small business owners. There's been no change in VAT. And VAT has actually been wiped on books, e-learning and educational courses that you can do online. The big one that could have gone one of two ways for us is stamp duty and land tax, which has actually stayed the same across the board. But it was announced that there will be a 2% SDLT surcharge on non-UK residents, which will be coming into play on April 2021. No change on corporation tax, which stays in at 19%. And £130 million has been put aside to help fund startups to stimulate that economy. Now, entrepreneurs' relief has not been abolished altogether, but it has been reduced and stated that we need more risk takers, more entrepreneurs to stimulate our economy. £12 billion has been injected into the affordable home programme and social housing interest rates have been reduced. £1.1 billion has been put aside from the housing funds to fund 70,000 homes in some areas. And we are now looking to build, start building, and going out into some brownfield sites. And that there, that top line, pretty much sums up everything that was coming our way as property investors, entrepreneurs, and business people. So we got away quite lightly this time. There were a few other things of interest mentioned that did come up, which I'll just let you know about now, just in case you did have an interest. There was no increase at all in beer or spirit duty, so we can still go out and enjoy a drink at the end of the night. Fuel has been frozen for another year, but there was a lot of talk around increased tax on pollution. Gas tax will be coming into play in 2020. There was also talk about plastic tax. And Boris summed up by saying, if our country needs it, we will build it. So for us as landlords, investors, business people, entrepreneurs, it's been a great budget for us. There's been no real spanners thrown in the works. We can carry on doing what we're doing. And it's only looking like the current government is going to help and want to boost that economy, which in turn will obviously help us. If you have enjoyed this video, please do go below. Give us a like. It just helps us get a little bit higher in the sort rank order so other people can also enjoy the video that you've just watched. If you haven't yet done so, make sure you also go below, subscribe and click the bell. And then every time a new video such as this one comes live on the New to Property channel, you'll get notified of it. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you next time.